very good morning dear students myself uh, dr sheikh shafi associate professor department of electronics and communication engineering bv raj institute of technology today we are going to uh, learn about correlation concepts under signals and systems before entering into the topic what is correlation correlation is used to find the degree of similarity between two signals the two signals could be of same type or different type and based on the types of signals again auto correlation correlation is uh, divided into two types one is auto correlation and cross correlation so auto correlation and cross correlation as a we as definition says correlation is used to find the degree of similarity between two signals so the two signals could be of same type or of different type if both are of same type we can call it as auto correlation and if the two signals are of different type it is called cross correlation so coming to the mathematical notations auto correlation is represented by r x x of tau where suffix represents this type of signal here we have taken two suffixes are of same type same signal e is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t and x of t minus tau dt and similarly for cross correlation r x y of tau is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of t and the, the second signal is the delayed version y of t minus tau dt so cross correlation we can represent like r y x of tau equal to integral minus infinity to infinity y of t x of t minus tau dt so here very important point here correlation is obtained between two are of same type and as well as of different type and here the signals are considered between uh, considered as energy signals rather than power signals so here in our syllabus we will find the correlation between energy signals uh, are of same type and energy signals are of different type so uh, if the signals are of same type we will call it as as i said it is auto correlation if it is of different type it is cross correlation now we will see the properties of correlation that to auto correlation between two signal between uh, two signals are of same type we will see so first property first property is r x x of 0 is equal to energy of the signal so proof so as we know the auto correlation formula r x x of tau equal to minus infinity to infinity x of t and x of t minus tau dt now substitute in place of tau tau equal to 0 then if you substitute tau equal to 0 the expression becomes minus infinity to infinity x of t and x of t minus 0 dt and uh, you can write it as minus infinity to infinity x of t and x of t dt now this expression you can write it as integral minus infinity to infinity x square of t dt now it is it is like energy signal the formula for to find how to find the energy of a given signal is Of in the same format, so you can consider it as energy. So R x x of auto correlation at a tau equal to zero represents an energy signal. So this is the first property of auto correlation function. Now we will move on to another second property. That is 
R X X of tau equal to R X X of minus tau. That means autocorrelation is an even function of tau. So let us see the proof of uh, this property. Let us consider the formula we know R X X of tau equal to integral minus infinity to infinity X of t X of t minus tau dt. Now let us consider t minus tau equal to some dummy parameter p, one variable p, then t equal to you can write it as p plus tau. Differentiate with respect to p, t, we will have dt equal to dp. Now rearrange the terms rxx of tau equal to minus infinity to infinity x of t, x of t minus tau dt. Now, in place of t, substitute p plus tau and in place of t minus tau, substitute p and in place of dt, substitute dp. Now, integral it becomes minus infinity to infinity, x of p plus tau, x of p and dp. Now, you can write it as integral minus infinity to infinity x of p and x of p minus of tau dp. Try to write in the form of the formula. Now, you can write this as r x x of minus tau. So, this is r x x of tau equal to r x x of minus tau. So, this indicates the autocorrelation function is an even function of tau. This is about second property. Now, we will move on to third property that is autocorrelation function has maximum value at origin that is R x x of 0 is greater than or equal to R x x of tau or you can consider as mod tau also you can consider. Now, let us see the proof. Let us consider R to prove this one. We will take an inequality, positive inequality like uh, x of t plus x of t minus tau whole square greater than or equal to 0. So, yes, real, this is a real valued signal or a positive, positive inequality with square term is always greater than or equal to 0. So, now expand this one x square of t plus x square of t minus tau plus 2 x of t x of t minus tau greater than or equal to 0. You can consider here either x of t plus x of t minus tau whole square r plus r minus. If it is there, you can write it as here plus r minus 2 x of t x of t minus tau. You can consider either because of square term, you can con it will be always positive. So now integrate integrate on both sides both sides over the limits minus infinity to infinity. Now minus infinity to it becomes x square of t dt plus integral minus infinity to infinity x square of t minus tau dt plus plus or minus 2 integral minus infinity to infinity x of t and x of t minus tau dt greater than or equal to 0. Now, this is using the property number 1, you can write it as r x x of 0 and here also a shifted version also you can write it as r x x of 0 plus or minus 2, it is like autocorrelation function r x x of tau greater than or equal to 0. Now, these two becomes 2 r x x of 0 plus or minus 2 r x x of tau greater than or equal to 0. Now, these two goes and you can write it as r x x of 0 is as it is 
x of t is a real valued signal, we can write it as R x x of 0 greater than or equal to R x x of mod R x x of tau. So, this shows uh, autocorrelation function has got maximum value at origin that is at tau equal to 0. This is another property, third property under autocorrelation function. Now, we will see the fourth property, very important property, important property, the fourth one is Fourier transform of autocorrelation function leads to energy spectral density. As we are considering here signals as energy signals, so Fourier transform of autocorrelation leads to energy spectral density. So, we will see the proof of this one. So, now using the formula of Fourier transform of any signal, we will write Fourier transform of autocorrelation function can be written as integral minus infinity to infinity r x x of tau e to the power of minus j omega tau d tau. Now, write down the actual formula of autocorrelation that is integral minus infinity to infinity, integral minus infinity to infinity, x of t, x of t minus tau dt dot e to the power of minus j omega tau. Now, this right term you can write it as it is d tau. Now, rearrange the terms minus infinity to infinity x of t e to the power of minus j omega t dot dt and integral minus infinity to infinity x of t minus tau e to the power of j omega t minus tau d tau. Hope you understood here. We have multiplied with e to the power of j omega minus j omega t and e to the power of j omega t which becomes equal to 1. e to the power of minus j omega t dot e to the power of j omega t becomes 1. So, we will get the same expression without changing. Now, this you can write it as it is like Fourier transform of a signal x of t is nothing but x of omega. Now, this second term we will consider t minus tau equal to some parameter p. So, as we are doing integration with respect to tau, we will consider minus tau equal to p minus t and you can write it as tau equal to t minus p. Now, differentiating with respect to d tau becomes minus dp. So, here you need to check the limits. If tau equal to the limits, these limits are with respect to belongs to tau. If tau equal to minus infinity, then p equal to plus infinity. You can see here if tau is equal to minus infinity, p becomes plus infinity. Then if tau equal to plus infinity, then variable p becomes minus infinity. So, now rearrange the terms x of omega integral minus infinity to infinity x of p e to the power of j omega p in place of d tau we have to write minus dp. The limits are my plus and the minus. As we, here we have seen tau equal to minus infinity then p tends to infinity. If tau equal to infinity then p tends to minus infinity. Now, to remove if you remove this negative sign the limits again going to change to minus infinity to infinity x of p e to the power of j omega p dp. Now, this is like again Fourier transform of auto uh, Fourier transform of a given signal. Then, but in place of j omega t, we have got minus j omega t, we have got j omega p. So, you can write it as x of omega into x of minus omega. So, over on the whole, you can write it as mod x of omega square, which is nothing but energy spectral density. So, this is one of the very important relation uh, uh, between autocorrelation function and energy spectral density. 
So, uh, Fourier transform of autocorrelation leads to energy spectral density. If you consider the signal as power signal, then the Fourier transform of autocorrelation leads to power spectral density. So, that is not there in our syllabus under uh, signals and systems. Up to for signals are of type energy signals, for, uh, we need to consider the, the autocorrelation and their properties. Now, based on these four properties, we have we can have problems in the examination. So, we will see one problem today and remaining we will discuss in the next class. So, we will go for one problem uh, based on autocorrelation. Suppose, if x of t signal is as e to the power of minus a t u of t, then energy signal, then find autocorrelation of the given signal. How to find the autocorrelation using the formula R x x of tau equal to, so this is question number 1, integral minus infinity to infinity x of t and x of t minus tau dt. Now, write down the first signal minus infinity to infinity e to the power of minus a t u of t and the second one is the shifted version of the given signal e to the power of minus a t minus tau u of t minus tau dt. So, here we have got u of t as well as u of t minus tau. So, you have to draw both the signals and try to get the resultant waveform for the limits. This is u of t starts from origin and ends up to goes up to infinity and another u of t minus tau u of t minus tau is nothing but it starts from tau and uh, continues up to infinity. So, the resultant of these two based on this one, the resultant interval will be tau to infinity, tau to infinity. So, now we will write it as minus infinity to infinity e to the power of minus a t dot e to the power of minus a t t dot e to the power of a tau into dt. So, the limits are from now change it to instead of minus infinity it is to tau, tau to infinity. Now, so with respect to dt e to the power of a tau is constant. So, take out e to the power of a tau integral tau to infinity e to the power of minus 2 a t into dt. Now, e to the power of a tau integral tau to infinity e to the power of minus 2 a t you writing the same line again. So, you can take it as e to the power of a tau integration of e to the power of minus 2 a t is e to the power of minus 2 a t over minus 2 a and the limits are from tau to infinity. Now, e to the power of a tau dot when upper limit is in place of t, if you substitute infinity, it will be equal to 0 and when you substitute lower limit and minus will be there minus into minus plus and substitute tau in place of t e to the power of minus 2a tau over 2a. Now, e to the power of a tau dot e to the power of minus 2a tau by 2a. Now, these two are tau terms, you can uh, finally write it as minus a tau by 2a. This is autocorrelation of the given function rxx of tau equal to e to the power of minus a tau by 2a. So, now this entire answer is in terms of tau, there is, it is an independent of t. So, the autocorrelation function of a signal e to the power of minus a t u of t is is e to the power of minus a tau by 2a. So, this is what all about uh, the autocorrelation function. In the next class, we will see a uh, few problems related to autocorrelation and uh, one more problem based on uh, uh, fourth property that is Fourier transform of autocorrelation leads to energy spectral density. And in the same class, we will uh, discuss cross correlation properties and the problems related to cross correlation. So, thank you all. Thanks for attending the session. Like, share and subscribe. 
hit the bell icon for more updates.